up, Noodleboro? It's time for the Radio Rick Show, coming to you from beautiful downtown Noodleboro. I'm your host, Radio Rick, bringing you all the new, new, noodliest news from the hap, hap, happiest town around. Yes, the sun is shining, noodle neighbors are smiling, and we're all singing our favorite tune. So, noodles, let's get it started! Another one, please. Whoa! Sorry, Noodles. My stomach got the best of me. Flash, this just in. Listen up. A talking parrot was found on the bus today. Luckily, he was able to tell the driver where he lived. (laughs) Hey, are you listening to that music? It means it's time for another episode of the Noodleboro Theater. Today's story, Listen While You Work, is brought to you by the Please and Thank You Picnic. Please go check it out. Thank you. If you'd like to follow along in your Noodleboro book, when you hear this sound, turn the page. At Chef Licentino's Pizzeria, the aromas floated as high up in the air as his famous pizzas. Today, the chef was twirling his pizzas extra high to give his customers a spectacular show. He didn't dare look down. Maybe he should have. First I make the... (laughs) Oh, no! Chef Licentino slipped on some dough. The doctor confirmed the terrible blow. Chef Licentino has stubbed his big toe. The doctor told the chef to put his big toe to bed. For the first time ever... Noodleboro would be a town without pizza. What a pity! As the chef headed home, he ran into Avery and Ernest. Hey, we can run the pizzeria for you, Avery offered when he heard what happened. Right! Chef, you can count on us till you're back in tip-top toe shape, added Ernest. Chef Licentino was so happy. Noodleboro will have pizza after all. Now listen to Listen Dino. I will tell you boys everything you need to know about to make my pizza. First you make the crust real nice. Beat 
pizza, pizza pie. Spin the dough and toss it high. Pizza, pizza pie. Then you stir the sauce and grate the cheese. Topping it off with pepperoni. But first you make the crust real nice. Pizza, pizza pie. As they reached the pizzeria, Ernest began to worry. Wow! There are a lot of instructions, Avery. We have to get everything right, said Ernest. Avery shrugged and said, Ernest, my man, you worry too much. It's pizza. We love pizza. What could go wrong? Avery thought he had it all under control. First you throw the dough outside. Pizza, pizza pie. Then you smash the cheese just right. Pizza, pizza pie. Then you toss the sauce and grate it all. Top it all off with a soccer ball. But first you throw the dough outside. Pizza, pizza pie. But it had become clear to everyone else, Avery had not listened to Chef Licentino. <coughs> Meanwhile, knowing Avery and Ernest were taking care of things, Chef Licentino babied his big toe, closed his eyes, turned on Radio Rick, and relaxed in his backyard. First I make the... <laughs> Popping pepperonis! Radio Rick here with a Noodleboro News Nugget. Noodles, it's nuts down at the pizzeria today. I'd say it's a mega monster mozzarella mess. The chef limped across town and muttered, They did listen to listen, Dino, those boys. Everything they need to know about making my pizza, I told them, first you make the crust real nice. Pizza, pizza pie, they were the listening. Spin the dough and toss it high. Pizza, pizza pie, oh my foot, then you stir the sauce and grate the cheese. Topping it up with the pepperoni, but first you make the crust real nice. Pizza, pizza pie, what are they doing? Back at the pizza shop, Avery realized there was a problem. Things weren't turning out quite right. When the chef walked into the pizzeria, he couldn't believe his eyes. Mamma mia, what happened to my pizzeria? There was a moment of silence. Avery wiped the sauce from his brow and said, This is all my fault. I didn't listen. Okay, we the chef calmed amazing. down when everyone promised to help clean up. Wow, the chef has more instructions for cleaning up than he did for making pizza. Ernest whispered to Avery. And Ernest, my man, I'm listening to every word, Avery said. Radio Rick here, and I'm happy to report that the pizzeria is back in business. And oh, mm -hmm, here's mine now. Yum, smells new delicious. Hey, who put the soccer ball on my pizza? Actually, it tastes pretty good. Thanks, Noodleboro players. Another noodlerific, noodlescent, noodlicious, noodly, nifty Noodleboro performance. Bravo! Love that radio guy. What a talent! And now, one of my favorite chart toppers for your listening pleasure. Listen to me, Avery. This is the way you make a beautiful pizza pie. First you make the crust real nice. Pizza, pizza pie. Okay. Spin the dough and toss it high. Pizza, pizza pie. Cool soccer ball. Then you stir the sauce and grate the cheese. Topping it up with pepperoni. But